Fire Emblem Awakening. This game was such a great game. May I say that it was, oh, mwah, excelente. You awakening fanboy. <gasps> a mysterious voice. And did you just refer to me as an awakening fanboy? Right here. Okay. Awakening just happened to be the first Fire Emblem game that I was able to get my hands on. And you're one to talk. You're probably one of those people that can't shut up about Undertale. W well, I... Uh... Oh, you got nothing to say about that, huh? I didn't think so. So how about this? We agree not to judge a game by its fandom. Very well. But these games are not always what you believe them to be. What do you, what do you mean by that? Play <clears throat> Fire Emblem. Well, how do I do that? I don't have a Game Boy or a regular DS. And even if I did, the game isn't exactly... Um, how do I say it? In my budget? And also, I'm sitting down again. Do you have a Wii U? Yeah, I got one a few Christmases ago. It's in the eShop. Oh, okay. Right. Oh. Oh, oh my. So, this. This is Fire Emblem. So the main character is found waking up in a field, huh? I wonder where I've seen that beginning before. Oh, wait a minute! It's the same way that Awakening started. <laughs> wait. Wait, what, what was that all about? Come on, Lynn. Do you want to talk about it or not? You can... You can trust me. You can trust me. Right? Right? Storyline is pretty simple. You just play as Lynn, and you have to go save her grandfather, then you fight bad guys along the way. It's... really just that. I love how close they stand next to each other. <laughs> they're, just, they're just squished. Hey, hey buddy, can you give me a little space please? Can you give me room to move my elbow? Oh, so you want me to do that then, huh? Whoa, okay. Oh, you, you want me to do that too? Alright. There isn't very much that you can do in this game, it seems like. It... It mostly plays itself. Wait! Wait, what the heck? I... I didn't even have time to worry about the old man. Where's the suspense? One second he's dying, the next he's okay! It happened instantly! Is that it? Huh. Well, let's give a short. Well, then I suppose I'll tell you what I thought about it. It wasn't too challenging. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, it mostly played itself. It was telling me what to do. And, well. Oh, what? What? There's more? Faked your ending. No, I should be thankful that there's more, really. I mean, it was only 10 levels long, and it told me what to do. So, really, I just played a 10 level long tutorial that took me 3 hours to complete? What? <sighs> Who makes you do a 3 hour long tutorial?
Alright, I'm sure a lot of you already know what Fire Emblem is, but just in case if you don't, which it's totally okay if you don't, I'm gonna tell you. So think of checkers and rock, paper, scissors mashed together in one game. So you move across the board like a game of chess or checkers. I said checkers earlier, didn't I? Never mind chess, it's checkers. Checkers. You, rock, you move around the board like a game of checkers. Your characters are given a weapon, a sword, a spear, or an axe. Sword beats axe, axe beats spear, spear beats sword. And this game makes you play a 10 level long tutorial, which takes about at least 3 hours to complete, just to explain that. So the game sounds easy, right? Well, not exactly. You see, in the Fire Emblem series, when a character dies, you don't get them back. There's no way to revive them. When they die, they are gone for good. So every decision that you make counts, especially if you want to keep everyone alive. That's where the real challenge comes in. Okay, so now the real story of the game begins. It switches over to Elliewood, and then you search for your father, fight bad guys along the way, again. Then your dad dies in your arms, and then you kill your girlfriend, and then you fight the bad guy who's been causing problems throughout the whole game kill him and then your girlfriend comes back from the dead and helps take down the dragons okay it, it's a lot more intense than I made it sound but that, that's that's pretty much what happens this game does have side quests however the side quests are not really side quests it's more of a the game is more challenging if you don't do it kind of thing for example, one of the side quests unlocks the merchant that holds your items throughout the rest of the game. Whoa, 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 whoa there, merchant. I know I saved your life and all, but come on. We just met. The final level of this game is probably one of the most frustrating levels I've ever played in games ever. Oh my gosh, it's so hard and it's so unforgiving. When you mess up, you mess up. I actually had to let a few characters die just so I could make it through. But then after you get past that part, you face the true final boss of the game. A dragon. Oh my God. And it is so cool. This is one of the coolest moments I've ever seen. And then you kill the dragon. The dragon girl who you thought was dead is really alive. Now, I guess, now has to go back home through another dimension, which oh, makes me really sad. Well, that's that for this game. I had a lot of fun playing it. The story was fantastic. And it really made me think about what I was supposed to do for the levels. However, I don't know if this is a game that I would play for a second time. However, I am very excited to try out more games from the series, and I can't wait to get my hands on Fates. Hello everyone, and welcome to the unboxing portion of this video. I'm too excited, I'm just gonna get right to it. Let's see, uh, right here. I, uh... I'm sure a lot of you already know about this, but... The English version? The... Yes, the English version of the... Special Edition has been... Discontinued? Well, for the pre-order, I mean. The pre-order has been discontinued, and since then, it's been... Pretty hard to get your hands on one of these. And I happened to go after it the moment they announced that it was discontinued. So I got it for a pretty decent price, and people have been trying to sell it for about 200 more than what I paid for last that I checked. So I feel that I got lucky. And um, examining this box now, it seems that it came in pretty good condition, except for uh, a little bent right here. But that's fine. 
I'm not gonna try to resell this or anything. I'm a collector and I just I'm surprised that it's in this good of a shape. So enough of my babbling. Let's take a look inside and ooh, we got I don't know what never mind that. Never mind that. I don't want that. Where are you? Oh, um Are you a sticker? I'm sorry, you guys can't see it. I'm going to examine it. Looks like it might be. Uh, put that over there for you. Oh, got some more of those right here. And uh, this. Oh, this is what I wanted. This is why I wanted to get the special edition so I can get this book. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Well, let's have a look inside. Ooh. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show every page, just some. That way you guys can get an idea of what's inside. I don't I won't spoil everything, but Ooh, this is I'm liking this. Wow. Alright. Here um Show a few more pages, I suppose. Wow, the art's just amazing. Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, that's what you can expect if you can get your hands on an art book. I'll be looking at that later. And uh, the last bit of stuff in here. Alright, now it's just a box. And the game itself. Well, it's double sided. Alright. <laughs> Get inside here. Whoa. I was not expecting that. This is cool. Should I open these guys? Yeah, I'll, I'll hear all of them for you. And since I got the Japanese one, I'm not going to be able to play this, but it's excited that, I'm just excited that I have all of these things anyway. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh. Alright, the I can't tell for sure, but that looks like Marth and Lucina. I, I I enjoyed those characters. Well, I don't know Marth very well, except for he was in the Smash games. I don't know what Fire Emblem games he's from. If you guys know, let me know please. And Lucina was fun from Awakening. She was one of my favorite characters. And I think that... It, oh, I bent that a little. Oops. And I think that is everything. Oh, there's some changeable art inside. Here, I'm going to try to show you. Alright. And I'll wrap things up there. Thank you for watching.